will just use money. It's just a tool. Use it the best way you can. But as you use it, watch your heart. Watch your heart as you use it. Hebrews 13.5 says, Keep your lives free from, from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Anybody who strives to keep your life free from the love of money knows it's not easy. Money is so magnetic, okay? It's so attractive. It's tough to keep your life free from the love of money, okay? It's easy to have materialism attacks. Like when you like your house, you buy your house, you like your house, it's a nice house. Then you go to a friend's house or a neighbor's house and think, wow, how come I don't have that kind of house? You buy a car, you like your car, and then you see your friend's car, how come I don't have that kind of car? See, it's tough to keep your life free from the love of money. Okay? And the only way to do it is how this verse ends. Okay? God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. Your money will, by the way. At the end of your life, your money will leave you and forsake you. You know, I was reading an article. They were made, there, there's this place that they make clothes for dead people, and there are no pockets. I wonder why. <laughs> for many of us, okay, before the end of your life, your money will leave you and forsake you. Okay? But God will never, never let you down. So what are you going to rely on? Something that's not going to last and let you down a lot of times in this world? Or something, someone who will last forever? Whose love for you will never fail? That's the foundation that helps us, keeps our lives free from this love of God. And in a lot of ways, we are like this manager that we read today. We're in the same situation, okay? The clock is ticking in all our lives. Our time on earth is going to be soon over. So Jesus said, use this guy's life, okay? Let him encourage you to think differently about money. Let me twist the way that you think about it so that things are nearly so important that you realize how truly important people are. Eternity is, okay? My plan for your life, use those unimportant things to invest in what's truly important, okay? When it comes to financial success, here's what God sets the high bar. Said financial success, God says, is not measured by how much you earn. That's not going to last anyway. Financial success is not measured by how much you earn. It's measured by how you use whatever you earn for God's good and God's glory in this world. That's your success. Okay. I'm just like you, okay? Things seem to be important. Okay? We value a lot of stuff. Okay? But Jesus said, those things are not going to last. Okay? But the people I created and the relationship I want to create, that is going to last for eternity. Last Friday, Sophie Delara, one of our missionaries, visited the Friday group and told us a story about this lady who's about, uh, I think about 16, 17 year old supposedly who is trapped in a room somewhere in South Africa and because uh, apparently she's being held against her will maybe you know she's being prostituted and so this kinds of people okay, we don't we will never know their names we will never know their faces, okay? Maybe there's a sick boy right now somewhere in India, okay, who lost his parents, and yet there are missionaries out there okay, who will be working on those people. And because of our giving, 
We may not be able to go there ourselves, but because of our giving, they may receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Maybe you're telling yourself, how come I'm not able to lead people to Christ? I'm not really good at that. For all you know, when you go to heaven, because of your giving, people are going to come to you and say, thank you, brother, thank you, sister. Because of this amount that you gave my this missionary right here, I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. He, he she, gave me the gospel, and I believe in Jesus. That's how it works, my friend. That's how we invest in eternity. So what are you investing? What are you putting our lives on? And I don't want us walking out of here today thinking that we did what we did do in the past. And that's easy to do, to blame ourselves. And I think of a hundred times, you know, I could have invested on this better and I could have done it differently. Every, every one of us have gone through this, okay? But let's walk out here today determined that the coming weeks, the coming months, that we will have a new heart of investing our lives, our things, whatever we have for God's very good glory towards eternity. Amen? And the Apostle Paul, in closing, and share with you, said, everything I'd like to call the worship you, everything else is worthless when compared with the priceless gain of knowing Christ my Lord. Everything else he says, worthless. All my accomplishments, all the things in my life, all my honors that I've been given, they're, they're absolutely worthless when compared to the priceless claim of knowing Christ. Knowing Him, nothing else is more important than what He says. Let's all stand. Now, first of all, if you don't know Jesus, yet, 